sparkles if you're new to this channel my name is Addy and I invite you to subscribe and turn on the notifications well so you won't miss whenever I post a new lately video. I've been seeing a lot these poly gel and clay rings which I find really really cute and many of you have asked me hey how did you make the rings because I posted a few pictures on my Instagram which I will show right here and you guys seem to really like it so I was like okay maybe I should make a video about poly gel rings so that's what I will be doing today and I hope that with this video you guys learn how to make polygel rings. So in order to make polygel rings, you are going to be needing acetone, you are going to be needing piles and a polygel brush. You are also going to be needing obviously polygel bottles and an UV lamp. Wait, let me... Yes. As you can see, mine is already connected, so we are going to use it just now. So if you want for your poly gel rings to have like different colors, you could either paint it with gel paint or you could also buy a poly gel that is already of, a co of the color that you want to use. So on my Instagram, which I will leave right here, I posted like a month ago a very short poly gel rings tutorial. And I explained that I didn't have like a uh, the ring size and stick. I, I'll put a picture here because I don't really know the exact name of it. So I'll be using just a normal marker that is about the size of my finger. So if you don't have the ring size and stick, you can always use a marker like I'm going to do here. <laughs> so the first thing that you're going to be needing to do, oh my gosh, it's just putting some acetone or rubbing alcohol in a little container or a cup. And then I'm going to be using this poly gel. I literally just opened it. Um, we are going to simply, you can either shape it like normal, like normal circle, or you can shape it differently. So I always make it like a circle. So I'm going to try to do something new and then we will do it the simpler way. So yeah, let's get into it. So that is what it looks like, and then with my poly gel, um, with my poly gel brush, I am going to dip it into the acetone and just make sure that it looks pretty much perfect. So once it's shaped like I want it to be, like something like this, I'm just going to put it under the UV lamp for about two minutes exactly. So I just took it out of the UV lamp, this is what it's looking like and I am just going to rub it with a little cotton with um, acetone because I don't want for the poly gel to stick to my fingers once I try to get it out of the marker itself. So once you think you've cleaned it and you touch it and it's not sticking to your fingers, simply go ahead and get it out. Okay, so this is what the ring looks like right now. And now it's time to decorate it and file it down. Well, file it down firstly and then decorate it. Yay! So I finished filing it down and this is what it's looking like. So now I'm just going to paint it with some gel polish and I am going to be right back. So I finished the ring, let me show you guys, that's the ring right there. By the way, my nails look like that because I, I had um, black nail polish on right before I filmed the video. So I'm just going to put it on and this is what it looks like. It's giving me like Barbie and I don't know, unicorn vibes and I really like it. So. Now I will show you guys how to make the other ring. So yay, let's do it now. So I just finished this one. This is what it looks like. I made this one with the clear gel. And as you can see inside, it's it looks like shiny because I already put um, gel polish there. And now I am just going to paint the inside with this uh, glittery gel polish so that it creates kind of a shiny 
style. <laughs> so, meanwhile, I am going to be using this and a little bit more of um, clear poly gel. I'm just going to put it here and shape it like a circle because I want to create a smiley face. So my circle is ready and I am going to be putting it under the UV lamp now. Now that it's ready, I'm just going to do that until the circle itself comes out. <laughs> it is not easy to be honest because sometimes the poly gel can get like pretty stuck to the um, material. But hey, the end result is always good. Well, most of the time. <gasps> a piece of advice, use this part of the poly gel brush uh, to get it like out because I accidentally broke the nail file, so. <laughs> and done. Here we have our little circle. Mm -hmm. So the next thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to take a little bit of the uh, same poly gel that I've been using, the clear one, and I am just going to put it right here, like just a tiny bit like that. And now I am going to be um, getting the little circle. I am just going to put it, let me see if you guys can see like that, yeah. Just press down, make sure like it stays in the middle because we don't want for um, our poly gel ring to have a smiley face almost at the bottom. So I'm going to use the brush one more time and I am just going to hold it here and make sure that there are no visible uh, rests of poly gel under the circle. I'm just going to place it under the, under the UV lamp again and wait for it to dry. So once you see that it's the, the pieces are stuck together, see, it's not coming off, you can start painting. Ta-da! I am done with this one, that's a little smiley face. This one is open right there so it could fit better. Um, I think it's really cute. Is it my style? Not specially, but it's honestly really cute. And now I have this one, which is the first one I made. I really love it. And wait just a second. Did I go a little bit crazy with the poly gel ring making? Yeah, maybe. We have hearts, we have Among Us characters, we have a little piggy, we have flowers. And I honestly like them all. Obviously not going to wear them all like this, but I like them a lot. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like the poly gel ring, leave a comment down below. And if you made Polly Gel's ring after watching this video, then don't forget to comment, hey, I watched your video and I made a Polly Gel ring and send me a picture of the Polly Gel ring on Instagram and I'll obviously go and check it out and like it. Stay safe and I love you guys a lot. Bye bye.